Oh yeah, how are you? Are you watching this video as you procrastinate to do that big list of chores you have been delaying for a month or even potentially trying to find the job that you love? I'm Bita Luca and today we're going to talk about how to beat procrastination as a girl boss. I'm a serial entrepreneur, I own a video games company, I'm an investor, a speaker and I'm always a procrastinator. Not always, often. <laughs> Let me tell you a secret. Everyone who tells you they never procrastinate, they might be liars. So what is procrastination? Procrastination comes from the Latin verb procrastinare. I'm not sure if it's like that. <laughs> People say. But basically, it means deferred to tomorrow. We become master procrastinators when we unconsciously start delaying tasks, even though by not finishing them, there's gonna be massive negative consequences to that. So why do we do it? What is wrong with our brains? Actually, Mel Robbins talk about that. You can see on the description. She says that, you know, it's all about us stressing so much that we won't be able to do what we need to do that actually prevent us from doing what we need to do. And Tim Urban talks about the monkey in our brains that actually trying to get us into instant gratification while our logical side of our brain are trying to do the right things. All of this is connected to the pleasure principle, which means that we keep on avoiding something that we believe we might fail at and dragging ourselves into pleasure mode because it's kind of easy and we know we're gonna have pleasure out of that. As a girl boss, there are three brain hacks that I'm gonna to show today and another bonus at the end, which is all about how you beat the procrastination. First one is get your self-esteem up. You know, those moments that you're feeling a little bit down, that you don't feel that your energy is as up as, as usual. Uh, I don't even like the music that I used to like anymore. <laughs> you know that feeling? These moments are the moments that the monkey comes and dominates your mind and you procrastinate with everything. So when you find yourself in those moments, the best thing to change the pattern is to actually have some me time. Go for a massage or have your nails done, have a new haircut. All of those things will help you put into to a different direction in your mind, in your brain, and then you'll be able to go and do the thing that you need to do. And just before we go to number two, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. And if you know a lot of people who procrastinate, share with them, share this video with them and put in the comments. Number two, call your best friend. Not the best friend that is a vampire, but the best friend that actually usually energizes you. That one that every time you talk to them, you're like, whoa, what an injection of energy I just had. Because when you talk to them, likelihood they're gonna give you that little nudge to kind of say, hey, you can do this. Actually, my best friend for those things is my younger sister. She's amazing. I love you. Number three, get the distractions out of your way. Put your phone in another room Turn off all the notifications. Get out of the internet. I know, it's difficult. You only need five minutes to get into the flow because once you're there, then your brain kicks in and then you're not gonna stop until you finish. So remove distractions, get done. Oh, you got to the bonus route. Well done. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm a massive perfectionist. And perfectionists are the worst procrastinators. We usually go into that mode, oh, that's not good enough, that's not good enough, that's not good enough. What I do specifically is to show my work to someone who I trust, and I know they're gonna give me really good feedback and very specific, because often they're gonna give me tips to improve on certain things, as opposed to me trying to improve everything, right? Does it make sense? So tell me, what are the things that you're gonna start doing now to stop procrastinating? Let me know in the comments. And for watching me like dressing as a, you know, as if I'm going to space, I don't know what, what happened in my mind when I bought this, but I thought it was really cool. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. For now, ciao, ciao. If you wanna know how to boost your confidence, go here. If you wanna know how to find your passion, your career passion, go here.